So what I've got here on the bench then is one of these uh, little TV tuners that uh, you can use for uh, software defined radio. Now this has been around for quite some time now and uh, you know I've read quite uh, a bit on this and it has sparked my interest somewhat and uh, you know many of you will know that I'm not a uh, ham radio enthusiast but uh, this is the RTL 2832U and uh, as I say this is quite an old uh, TV dongle now you can get uh, much better ones but I picked this one up for £6.50 and free shipping from uh, China and uh, I've had this uh, you know just for a day and I've tried it out I've downloaded the uh, software the uh, software defined radio software and uh, I've had a little play but uh, I haven't had much luck because it comes with this uh, little uh, antenna here I think it's a uh, monopole and uh, I don't think this is good for picking up uh, TV never mind uh, software defined radio it really struggled to uh, pick up my uh, local radio station so I think uh, we're going to have to dispose of this and uh, add a much better antenna to this and hopefully uh, I can uh, you know explore the airwaves as such for uh, you know the air bands and the uh, uh, ham radio bands and such things like that uh, the police don't uh, transmit on uh, anything that you can tap into anymore I, I think a lot of the emergency services in the UK have also gone uh, encrypted digital now as well but uh, one thing that I am interested in with this uh, you know software defined radio boom that's uh, happened over the last few years is you can use one of these for uh, radio astronomy and that's something I've been uh, planning uh, now I've had on the back boiler for a couple of years that I want to build something that I can use along those lines and I've got an idea to uh, create a uh, big satellite dish uh, using the frame of one of those uh, outdoor trampolines and uh, you know tapping in uh, and trying to build something that uh, I can use as a uh, astronomy uh, radio telescope but the software has already been written for uh, one of these to uh, have a play around with but um, as I say I'm going to have to modify this so this is a little MCX uh, connector, a micro coax connector and uh, I want to replace this and uh, I'm going to use uh, a uh, SMA connector. Now the reason I'm going to do that is because I've got a lot of adapters for uh, an SMA connector. I've got uh, you know adapters for N-type and uh, different uh, sizes, BNC and uh, I haven't, I've got one somewhere for this uh, M. Uh, CX connector here to an N type connector but I can't lay my hands on it now so what I'm going to do to make this a little bit more versatile for me is uh, change this to an SMA and then I'm going to get hold of some uh, 75 ohm coax because this is 75 ohm and uh, try and put together a simple uh, whip type antenna nothing too big that I can use here in the lab and uh, have a little experiment with now I could come up with a small circuit of resistors to uh, change the ohms here uh, from uh, 75 to 50 ohms and then I can use the coax that I've got here in the lab but uh, I'm going to go with 75 ohm coax first because it's pretty cheap and uh, you know easy to get hold of uh, I may do a uh, video showing you how you can do a uh, uh, converter for that uh, on the cheap to uh, convert it from uh, 75 ohms down to 50 ohms but uh, you can also buy them for around a fiver anyway so it's pretty simple to uh, crack one of these open you've just got to get in there with uh, a flat uh, pry tool there's no screws or anything like that but uh, now we're looking uh, inside here I think it's going to be pretty simple to desolder the uh, MCX connector of the PCB here and uh, I think I'm going to go with uh, this little uh, SMA connector here I think uh, once we get rid of the uh, MCX connector that's going to solder in quite nicely onto the board because we don't need to solder up to all four of the grounds here and the center pin is the uh, signal wire so we can solder the uh, center pin on this uh, SMA connector here to the uh, original solder pad for the uh, to signal wire onto this uh, MCX connector and uh, you know we don't have to uh, solder all these legs directly to the ground as long as one of them is soldered to the ground that's fine but I will solder at least two 
just to add some strength to this because that's all you've got holding it in place and uh, if I have to modify the uh, case a little bit make this hole a little bit bigger to uh, fit it all in it's going to protrude out of the side of the case quite nicely in order for me to screw on different antennas on there so this is the one that I'm going to go with here and of course I could have used this one as well and again made the hole in the case a little bit bigger and uh, trimmed this coax down a little bit and just looped it back on itself and then soldered it onto the uh, pads on the PCB when we've desoldered this that will also work just as well I'm just taking a quick look at the board it's just amazing how sparse this is for what this can uh, actually do you know the software is uh, the powerhouse to uh, making one of these work of course but uh, there's quite a lot here and uh, you know for, for the money you, you're really scratching your head to work out how they make any profit on this because it even comes with a uh, remote control to uh, control this if you were going to use it as a uh, you know a tv stick so the remote control alone must uh, you know cost uh, more than what i've paid for this uh, it really does uh, have me scratching my head how they can make these and make a profit for the money so i've got the mcx connector desoldered from the board there and i think this uh, little uh, sma uh, pcb mount sma is going to work out uh, just right i can solder it on to uh, those holes here and here tack it on there for the ground plane for those two legs and also solder it on the uh, bottom as well just to uh, fix it into position there probably going to have to use a little bit of copper wire solder that on through that uh, center signal hole there and then uh, bend it around and solder it, solder it onto the uh, signal leg uh, in the center there on the SMA connector just to extend it because it's a little bit too short but I think this is the uh, best connector to choose for this modification so I've got the SMA connector soldered in place there pretty straightforward job really uh, soldered onto uh, those two ground plane points here and uh, the signal wire soldered on there I just used a, a small piece of uh, copper wire just to extend it out to that pin there and it's soldered on the underneath as well there with those two uh, ground points there so uh, it's in there it's pretty solid it's not going to come away anytime soon so we don't need to add anything else like uh, any epoxy or anything like that so i've just got to do a small modification to the case so really simple uh, mod to uh, change this uh, jack out here so a pretty simple uh, modification then it didn't take uh, too long at all but now having that sma connector makes it a lot easier for me anyway to uh, you know add antennas to this in the future and i will make some basic antennas for this as well that we can use over the uh, different frequencies because there's not a great deal out there so if you did enjoy the video please give it a uh, thumbs up any comments or questions drop them below i'll do my best to answer them and uh, hopefully you'll join me on the next one